Hey, good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hey, Brandon. Hey. has a doctor's appointment, so he's going to be out. He has it. He's, well, he declined the event. I don't know whether he's traveling, so. He's been on the road a lot, right? <laughs> AI teams like to do summit. <laughs> we still have to, uh, that's how we get done things done. Yeah. <laughs> gotta just do a lot of meetings, <laughs> in person meetings. For the thick store con, we still haven't done our demo or anything. We got accepted, but we haven't started it oh, at all. Nice, nice. So, <laughs> I mean, you yeah, right on schedule for conference, conference presentations. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta think with him. Like, we're like, hey, let's get some work done. <laughs> Otherwise, we're screwed. That's like what two weeks away now. Yeah. Two. Oh yeah, it is actually two weeks away. Oh god. <laughs> Are you going in person? Yeah, yeah. Nice. I'll be there. Are you gonna be there? No, nah, no. Nah. Uh... Trying to be there next year, though. You are planning to be there? Yeah. Where is it next year? London and LA. Oh, in LA. Okay. Yeah, LA and then London as well. Yeah. 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 I think we can probably get started then. I think it's going to be us. Sounds good. Uh, all right, I can give the the usual spiel. Um, hi, this is the Quark maintainers meeting. This meeting is being recorded. will be available online on YouTube and all the different platforms that it's used. Uh, this meeting's attendance is adherent to the LF and openness to self code of conduct, as well as antitrust policies. Um, you can view more details on the LF website and get help. Cool. Um, I think I can jump right into it. I personally didn't have too much. I, I spent a bit of time reviewing some of the PRs. Um, don't think anything stuck out to me as, as requiring any discussion. Um, yeah, I think it's just the PR reviews, I think, mostly. I've been, I've been adding in some batch queries, basically. Uh, to batch query like vulnerabilities and licenses and dependencies and stuff. Um, that's about it. I think most. Um, and then, yeah, there's, I think Nathan has split out the PR for the REST API stuff. Okay. That's good. So yeah. you can read, that's, I think those are those in your review. Uh, someone new, I'm not sure who this is, Lucas looks like. Um, he had, the, he added the ability to collect you know, like severity from OSV and add that into vulnerability metadata as optional, which is also nice. There's a new PR. For oh, that. okay. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Yeah. Um, and then I think, yeah, the OCI one. I thought there was, oh, yeah, there's an end of life one now, too. So Robert has been, he created an end of life one. So I think, I think it's, yeah, it's, we just need to take some time and review it. I, I've been, doing some other things. So like, but yeah, we definitely do like sit down and review all these things. I think that's a priority for this week. <laughs> like, let's yeah. get some of these reviews done for these people, for all the, all the contributors. Yeah. 
Uh, I mean, it's yeah. very good. Very, it's very good contributions. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I'll the OCI, say. OCI collector, the end of life collector, and then the additional metadata from vulnerabilities are like our big ones. They're not like, they're like, oh, here's a typo or something. You know, it's actually really yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> and these are all from people that we don't really know. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's very good. Yeah, I reviewed the OCI collector a lot. And I think besides like a couple of nits, um, the only thing that I flagged out uh, for that one was that the identifier strings. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think oh. it, it makes sense for us to include it for the registries. Because you know, I'd be like, oh, I put for Docker Hub. And then now I'm like, oh, I'm going to crawl the entire Docker Hub. <laughs> you know? mm. um, so. Unless we, we figure out a way to, to kind of just like registry, just like the registry metadata. Um, but yeah, I thought I thought Robert to remove that and then to move the mocking stuff, the OCI mocking stuff to a different directory because it's very mm. reusable. So yeah, so I think yeah. he I think he I think he did your or address your comments. Okay, yeah, uh, I'll take a review of he that. He did. So I uh, and yeah, this this afternoon I should have some time too. Review some of this stuff too. All right. Let's let's go through the this to label stuff really quickly. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna put a neat review on the OCI one. Um, yeah, OCI uh, two two one nine also. Two two one nine. The top one with okay. the additional metadata. The rest API ones, I think that's I think that's more for I think Marco, you and Brendan I think. Get your feedback on those ones. I, I, I know you already been so like you guys can approve it then. Okay, yeah, let me. I'm gonna add and myself a review on the uh, rest API one as well, and then. Uh, End of life. I can review that one as well. Yeah, my name. yeah. I'm gonna put myself there too for that one. I'll take a look at the GraphQL testing. Oh, this is part of the the split. Okay. Let me... Yeah, it's all split. All right. Okay. And what's this one? Oh yeah, I think I saw this one. Uh, I actually looked at the the one where it's like five hundred when sending an empty JSON payload one. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's right. Is that is that in the right spot implementation wise? I don't know what this is doing, Actually, but I, it's like I don't know why yeah, it's creating yeah. an index. <laughs> Wait, is it? So uh, I think he, yeah. So I think he. Uh, this is one. I think this is my change that I made a while back. Oh, I think, he, okay. I think he messed up all the commits or something. Okay. I think his he he messed up a rebase or something must have gone wrong. So I think this whole PR is just messed up completely. <laughs> so. Okay, so the he had thing... stuff. He, he had stuff originally, and then hit. I don't know what he did. And it just overwrote all his work, and <laughs> now there's nothing. Okay, yeah. So I think yeah, this whole PR uh... is kind of messed up. So I think we just okay <laughs> for now. I think we may close it. We'll see, but it's all messed up. Okay, yeah, it looks like we already find the request to change that. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, I think that's it. I think those are the big ones. Yeah, I think you marked everything that that need to be looked at. So that's good. Yeah. Let me also just ping on um, uh, Soham's PR. He's been working on it, like. I, I don't know if he is still working on it or not because last time we had that you know the CNCF webinar thing, 
you know, he was, okay. he was showing off some new features. So I don't know where he's at or he stopped working on it. I'm not sure. Based on uh, Santiago, I think he was, he was interviewing for jobs and stuff like that, right? Like he was interviewing with Tesla or something. That's what he said. So, okay. Uh... I don't know. I don't know if he's still working on it or what he's doing. He may, he may have stopped. Yeah. Let me comment on this one. Did anybody show up for the internal attestation meeting, by the way? And I, I saw I saw Marco and you guys there, but then everybody left, I think. I think everybody forgot, by the way. <laughs> so usually, you know, like Marcella usually like, hey, it's like, hey, oh, we have a maintainer's call. Like it was on my calendar. I, Tom is supposed to be there. Marcella is sometimes there and then the nobody else shows up so uh, usually people show up but then yesterday i was surprised that nobody showed up on friday i was like well i guess i guess we're not having it then <laughs> yeah yeah I, I went and there's nobody there yeah i realized yeah, 10, I, 10 minutes into the meeting that oh shit and then i didn't get a reminder for the meeting and then I look, <laughs> and then I look like two two tables down, and I saw Tom still at his desk. And I was like, I guess there's no meeting. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm saying I think he, I, I guess everybody forgot, or because I was there for the last maintainer call. Like we didn't decide like we're gonna cancel it or something. So I don't know. I, I don't know what happened. All right. I commented on that PR. Okay, that's that's all. Let's look at issues. Um, did we resolve that um, that that clearly defined thing? Oh, is it? It's only me. It's, is it not not reproducible? Because the CI is it still tests, breaking. Well, the CI tests look like they pass, right? Like when I yeah. upload it to Pierre, this is just my my system. So there. the service is a bit flaky sometimes i've noticed okay. the service itself clear to find so sometimes it comes back like oh it didn't respond properly or something or timed out or something mm. so but yeah i've not had it fail on anything else okay all right i'm gonna let's see any any ones in the issues that have been resolved for our good first issues. Um, I don't. I think the JSON lines one may be a good first issue. Can I mark things as Hacktoberfest accepted? How does <laughs> I think we can, right? Uh, actually, let me share my screen. It's probably easier for us to triage. Uh, share screen. This one basically says like, if you have JSON lines, it's not gonna, it's gonna be angry. Uh, mm. the, the issue here is like, um, the document is unknown. It's like format JSON line. It has to be unpacked, but because the document type is unknown, uh, it's, it's, it's weird. All right. I think. Mm. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. issue. Yeah, I'm actually thinking whether like this also affects this year as well. Oh, yeah, because the document type is this year. No, never mind, it's fine. Um, okay. Um, I'll just point out there's no harm in adding the Hacktoberfest accepted label, but that won't, that's for PRs to mark. That's a, basically a way for us to indicate that they, sh the contributor should get credit for it. Oh, um, okay. 
Yeah. And it's since the guac the guac repo proper isn't in uh isn't in the Hacktoberfest topic, um people won't come looking for it anyway. Okay. I'll remember that. That's fine. Um let's see. Da, da, da. Building on certain packages. Yeah, this was this is fixed. I think it's waiting on some updates. Long term investigate scan code. Yeah, it was like short term is fixed. Um long term is like investigate scan take, code. take some research. Okay. I think it's not a yeah. It sounds like a yeah. Not a great first issue. <laughs> And testing as far as also license error. Is that a fix? That? Let's see. I merged it. PR did I not say fixed or what? Why I keep it open? No, it looks like it's, it's merged. I think it's fixed, uh, but I wasn't sure if there was anything else we wanted to do for this because I know like. You know, there's uh was it Felipe added some comments here so I was like oh, I don't know if you want to resolve this or he had some he had some other thoughts around all this but it is fixed yeah the bug is fixed though all right uh, let me see I feel you on the closest end I feel like we we have to we will have this for documentation if you want to re revisit it. Okay. Yeah, we can close it then. Uh, the suspense. Yeah, that's uh, something. Um, from Mike that he suggested. Uh, so I, I opened it on his behalf. So this could be a probably a good first issue kind of task. Awesome. <clears throat> this may be some like leftover work. I guess. Yeah, this is more like a. This may be a GraphQL thing. <laughs> like, hey, this may go away in the future. Um, yeah. I think this is a long term thing. I'm gonna just like put the long term flag on it. Um, arrest and find for vulnerability and legal info in the S form. Okay, this is related to the the, the issue that, that we're reviewing the PR from Nathan right now. So don't think we have to touch that. Uh, I don't know what this is. I think it's just uh I think it's probably scorecard stuff. So there's a there's a lot of things in the on the in the security tab, right under code scanning. I think it's just like those token permissions. Yeah, like click on that, uh, and, and then it shows you know it shows you pin dependencies and all that stuff. Basically, it's just, this is for scorecard. I think gotta make some fixes. Okay, so this is okay. Um... Oh. Wait, oh, right, okay, so we just have to add scopes to the scopes to the yeah 
commission. Yeah, Good exactly. Thing. All right. Uh, I think that's something we'll have to do because that's not something anybody else can do. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I think if you create a pull request into the workflow, you can do that, right? Ooh, what's this fancy thing? Hmm. Oh, I don't know if you want to do that. <laughs> Cancel. We read public information only, and you know, that's fine, right? Uh, I'll, I'll risk it. Okay, sure. Create pull requests, all right? This, this fixes things. <laughs> Let's see if it passes. <laughs> let's, let's try it out. <laughs> do I, is it, right. is it, did I create a pull request? No. I said it'll take 30 seconds or something to create it. So we'll see. Give it time. It takes 30 seconds to. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh... I don't feel good about this. <laughs> a code QL. It added code QL and everything. I mean, certain things I like. I don't know about the step security, how to run that thing. Is this like a legit? I can probably remove that. Uh, I mean, step security, that's the, like, essentially, you could just run this. Like, this is what um, scorecard links to. OK. So this is this is legit, right? This is like a. It's an actual company, Step Security. Okay. Yeah, and they're uh, they're contributors slash maintainers of of uh, Scorecard. So they they essentially have a way to go in and and do some of that stuff, but it, it does feel weird when somebody else applies it to your project, like. I mean, I think I'm okay with everything except the, yeah, yeah. the, the like, the hard end ones. Run this thing. Yeah, I would avoid the hardened runner bit, but um, the other one's probably okay. Uh, we don't need the code QL thing, also, I think. Aren't we already using code QL? No. No? Okay. Well, it doesn't change. It doesn't fix the issue. Oh, no, it does. OK, so so this is where it does the permission thing. Mm -hmm. OK. And then there's some pin dependencies. You see, like 48, for example. Like yeah. That's pin, yeah. pin dependencies and stuff. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm fine with that part of it. Uh, go then, CLI. I mean, you can use part of this CL, this PR. Oh, my god. Um. Okay. Um, you can probably say this. This will probably address two zero five four, right? The yeah. Closes two zero five four. Two zero five four. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think most likely we have to just is this open? Well, I, I honestly, I I probably just like fuck this, fuck this one and apply it. You probably modify the. Uh... Oh wait, actually, yeah, that's a good point. Like, um... <clears throat> just take the branch, right? Take the branch out, and should be able to modify it, depending on where it's coming from. I wonder what the, so when I did the analyze repository thing just now, 
I wonder whether that may pick what I wanted. Page. Yeah. I think so. It may be able to. Okay, for vision. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, I don't think we need that this, right? Do we? No. Wait. How else the dependent bot change here? Dependent bot version updates. When dependent bot finds out a bit different. I thought I did this already. I thought we had a dependent bot thing already. They had an ecosystem. They had an ecosystem for end. Uh, I think that's fine. I don't think the addition is okay. Add code QL. Nope. 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 Uh, workflow options. Add dependency review workflow. No. We already have this in some sense. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, this, um, oh. Okay. What happened? I don't know, it says. I broke. It says if you have a vulnerability. Some vulnerabilities to have. Okay, so they're just saying like, yeah, you're not covering everything. I mean, there's some typos in these messages, yeah. You know? I don't know. It's like a. <laughs> I think maybe you'd close the existing one. So let me try closing the existing one. Oh, yeah, there's a combine. Yeah, you, you did that. Then, uh... I, I just closed it. I just closed it, okay. It's like up to a single word? No, right? Be. Every time I see a typo, I get a I get the Nigerian Prince vibe. <laughs> <laughs> get okay, a little bit works. anxious. Ah, uh, this looks legit. Okay. Yeah. I don't. Know. I, I I always feel like a little bit uncomfortable with this. Like sometimes I don't trust it, but I think it should be fine. Like this is like a a breeding ground for someone to, <laughs> to mess up a repository. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, let's go back to uh, let's also see this fixes. Uh, one second, two zero, two two zero. It was uh yeah two zero five four two zero five four This seems like a good, good issue. Is that not done? I might have done parts of it. There is something here, but it's just for the clearly defined one. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Well, we can easily check this by looking at the. Let's look at the. No, it wasn't. It wasn't part of that PR. It's fine. Uh, well, the, I'll just get the go go mod file. No, it's still using Intel to go uh, Oh, I see. I see. I. I uh... Okay. 
right. Uh, key value delete. There's a PR open for that one. Press API stuff. There's an open PR for this one. I, I uh, how, uh, the, how does the uh... that one has a that one has an open PR, but I think Jeff has a blocking comment on it saying it's not right. I think something's wrong. Something's wrong with it. Are we doing this via the GraphQL? Yes, we are. Yeah. Okay. This would be our open with this one. Uh, no, there's not. I don't think so. Is it? I thought Nathan, not Nathan, Neil had a PR. Yeah, he, so, no, this is, this is for the depths.dev. There was a new API for the depths.dev, remember? Oh, this was depths.dev. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, this is different from this one. Well, I, I when, whenever I like, <clears throat> I think once we, uh, once we add that thing, ingestion thing, do we wanna? Uh, On ingestion depth data, yeah. Yeah, I don't know whether we wanna remove depth data collector or not. Yeah, I think so. I think so, okay. Well. I'll deprecate it at least. Yeah, for now, I think it's like, how do we want to use depth.dev in the future for you know, the query and use case? I'll figure that piece out, but yeah. Okay. I mean, keep, keep it around, I deprecate it, but don't get rid of it. Oh, this is done. I think this is obsolete, so I'm going to... What's this? Overcome by events. OBE. Forget on this one right now. Do we have a, a blocked? No. I'm gonna put a long term thing on things that we can really do right now. I think this is good triage for today. I think we can stop here for now. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um Okay, sorry, I just saw your 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 comment, uh Mike. Yeah, so uh, OpenSSF is asking us when we want to do the uh, batch POC. What's the, the scope of this just OpenSSF project? Yeah, so this would be to spin up 
a POC sort of instance of Guac that let's say a couple of community members um, we can work with to kind of you know, show off uh, uh, Guac and, and what it can do. And then like, you know, do stuff like, oh, hey, like work with, let's say a CNCF project or whatever and say, hey, what well, well, you know, would you be interested in understanding your REST bombs or whatever? So, so is this, I guess like, I'm trying to, you said like work with someone, is this something like, it's a helping open source projects or like helping as a con consumer open source project? It, both. So both. the when I made the proposal and it got approved in March, and then it took months and months and months for OpenSSF to kind of get stuff done, uh, was originally it was supposed to be for the security tool belt thing, but but now it might be more like for the baseline, let's say, where mm -hmm. hey, we have a guac where we now can actually ingest all this data and be able to potentially point out stuff like you know, uh, these projects doing the baseline or running into this issue, or they're all using this particular vulnerable library, they should be, you know, aware of it, that kind of thing. Um, but with given a lot of the shifts lately with with um, stuff now, I don't know if it's still valuable. Um, if we should just sort of say, eh, or if we, we should continue to uh, push, push it along. Because technically I'll say our company has, you know, because we, we sort of propose this as like, if OpenSSF doesn't want to run it themselves, Kusari will run it for them. So we will then need to just sort of, if, if the answer is, hey, we no longer want to run it, we, we uh, Kusari will just have to work with OpenSSF on what to do about it. But I, at that point. Like I'd be, I, I think for the, at least, like the use case, the, the, end, the end consumption, I think that's where like the Kusari platform no, no, this is, like, yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah, this is completely separate. This is just purely, is Guac useful in open source? Is it useful to have a POC where we work with folks to better understand how they are using mm -hmm. Guac, um, how Guac can be potentially useful to foundations even? That was kind of the the goal of uh, the thing, completely unrelated to Kusari. Um uh, on that front, just the idea was Kusari would run the instance if OpenSSF didn't have the capability to give cloud credits, for example. Yeah. I mean, I, I think we, we do like the analysis part of it, which Kusari has. And I, I think I'm wondering whether like, would it be in question, like, like could we also do it like, oh yeah, we run a quantum service, but then like, we are going to show up the salary findings. No, no, that would be total. It's completely separate from the open source. Okay. So okay. That, the, the open source thing here is purely just, uh, could we run Guac for, you know, SBOM management, license management for projects? The, is it useful to them? Are the consumers who are pulling stuff from Guac, do they find that information? Let's say if we were to pull in all the SBOMs, for open SSF projects and uh, track, let's say vulnerabilities, would being able to do a, a, a an API call to say, hey, do I have any vulnerabilities in the open? Are there any vulnerabilities in the open SSF projects uh, that we know? Is that valuable today? Um, I think it's like to answer those sorts of questions. Completely unrelated from Kusari, other than the fact that again, we we sort of signed the contract to sort of run a potential guac. Um, and kind of figure some of those 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 uh, questions out. So what's openness is giving us, I guess, in this case? Uh, so they gave, so again, they gave, uh, this was from earlier this year, remember, we had gotten approved $12,000 yeah. for the year. So it's $12,000 in cloud credits. Um, okay. and, the, and so the answer was like, hey, um, because they, could, they couldn't they could just run an account and we just charge the account. The answer was going to be, okay, well, why doesn't Kusari just run it and then we'll just charge you. Um, and you know, we'll just make also the reporting available of like, if they needed to audit so that they know that we're not like, you know, mining Setting Bitcoin. The money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, we're not mining Bitcoin or training AI models for, you know, our own benefit, right? right? Like that sort yeah. of thing. Um, but I think uh, at this point, given that like everything's been signed, everything's been cleared, and now it's been about a month, um, and I think part of this is potentially Kusari coming in and, and, and having the conversation among ourselves, being like, hey, we, we signed this contract. We need to make it a, a priority now um, to run that instance. But I think also 
at this point. Like one of the challenges I think was when we got it originally approved in March, we had a bunch of folks like Open Telemetry and some other people who were very interested in participating. And then uh, after you know several months of being like, uh, we might get that instance soon, um, it kind of you know some of that enthusiasm went away, and people went on to do and reprioritize to other things. So I think that's that's one of the the, the challenges right now. So if, if folks have ideas around what we could be using that POC instance for, um, maybe we could uh, make it a priority. Well, I think the LFX angle thing is interesting in the sense of like, okay, yeah, like I say, like it's a bunch of things. How can foundations use it? Um, I'm still more interested. I think the the value that that we provide is like joining against your your internal system. Um, I don't know. Maybe foundations have that as well, right? Uh, but not from a so I guess you can treat the foundation as like a company, right? As an end user there. Yeah, yeah, potentially as an organization. Um, yeah. I can work maybe with, you know, maybe I can pull in Krobe, uh, who's like the new chief architect and and um, see what he thinks this might be useful for. Cause, cause again, um, you know, I, I had some ideas around it, but I, again, if, if we don't like, cause I'm not hearing really much, uh, in the way of, um, right now potentially perceived value. So maybe we kind of go back to the drawing board or, or look to work with open SSF to say, Hey, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> we don't need the money. Um, unless folks have ideas, so. So this would, this would have to be just guac, right? Not yeah, this is yeah, this is guac. Again, remember we we got a, a thing approved in March for getting um you know a guac yeah. POC uh to to work with folks who were interested in working with guac. Well, I think at the moment, the, the only thing I can think of is like kind of having that information be ingested and kind of showing the value of like putting all this melody in the same place. Uh, but I don't think we have the tools right now or it's not fleshed out enough to do like automate that kind of continuous report of things, right? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything there. I think the answer would be to provide community, like approved community members to be able to point them at this guac and allow them access to be able to throw S bombs and whatnot to it. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, the other answer is like guac can pull it from, you know, certain places if we need, like we can configure the guac to do that um as well but i'm so far I, i'm not hearing a clamoring oh my gosh uh we should go and do this which makes me think maybe we kind of reach back out to open ssf and say hey we had interest in march we don't have interest anymore um after sort of the the wait so i think we're gonna um like uh, uh, again i'll give it like a week um and we'll say hey if, if by figure the first week of of first, first full week of november if we don't have an answer on um, how we would want to use this POC, I think we just tell um, OpenSSF that, that we're not going to use the money.
I think it's still a valuable exercise to say like let's put our metadata together and that will highlight like from a perspective of like a foundation figuring out what I need oh, to do. Oh, I, 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 I agree. CNCF uh, seemed interested. A lot of other folks um, yeah. seemed interested, but uh, this seems like it would have to be uh, some effort on the maintainer side. And if, if there's not interest, then I think we just yeah. don't have yeah, the ability to do it. Um, I mean, I, I think it, so I think the other part is like extracting the value, right? I think I think that that is something that that we require some effort on whoever's using it right now. Right? It isn't a uh, oh here's a report and then you just read the report. You know, you kind of have to figure out how to use it. Um, Yeah, I think at first blush, I really, I, I'm, I'm also inclined to say like, yeah, and, and unless we get someone that's like, you know, Arco or, or, or Flux or something wants to be like, oh yeah, we really want to use this and try and try out some stuff and they are driving the, the, the user journeys. Um, yeah, I, I think right now my preference would be to be just put that on hold. Okay. Um, any other things we wanted to, to chat through? Um, I had a couple of just comments or not comments, but, uh, review requests. Um, I it put it in Slack a little earlier today. There's a, um, Guac visualizer PR that just needs somebody who has uh, privileges on the repo to approve so it can get merged. Um, and then there was also, uh, let's see if I can find it. There was a docs PR that needed some work from a checklist standpoint. Um, and there's a little bit that was still just kind of like, I'm not sure this is right in terms of, um, yeah, they include like, the way they included the version, I think kind of just is representative of not being active in the project. Um, but also uh, there was just some general fact checking about the API that I'm not sure there's some things in there. I'm just not sure are true. Um, so I just now dropped this in Slack as well. It's a uh, Glock docs number 164. So it's definitely not ready to merge yet. Um, but I just would like somebody who knows the technical details a little more to make sure the docs are generally correct there. Thanks for taking care of that visualizer PR, Brandon. Yeah. Uh, Marco, I feel like be a good person to kind of take a look at this. Um, the one that Ben linked in. Okay. Sorry, the uh, visualizer? No, not the visualizer, the, the docs one um, for the REST API. Uh, let me, let me, I'll tag you on that. Okay. Yeah, I can take a look at that. Awesome. Yeah. 
Uh, just a quick update on on my front. I'm um, I wrote up some stuff to to kind of talk about how we're using how we can use Guap for some of the graph um, stuff they want to do in cloud. Um, hopefully that should get reviewed and then approved over the next one two weeks. Um, so make sure that at least like what uh, another validation point on on this bit that we're proposing makes sense. And not, I don't think it matter, but I'm gonna be out this week. right yeah be good all right thanks everybody sounds good bye